I'm Robert Griffiths, here for the China in the 21st Century class. My wife Jeannie and I lived for 14 years in Greater China, and Chinese is our secret family language. I teach a course on the politics of China at BYU, and up until the pandemic, we visited China at least annually. John Huntsman noted several years ago that more school children were studying Mandarin Chinese in Mandarin Chinese immersion school programs in Utah on a per capita basis than in any other state. This reflected the keen interest that Utahns had in China for business, for travel, and a feeling that China was going to be an important part of the world's future and they wanted, and they wanted their children to be part of that. Have things changed? In this course, we will try to understand China and the Chinese people better to see the world through their eyes, to understand their ambitions and anxieties, to gain insights into how their views of the United States and of the rest of the world may have changed, and how and why our views of China may have changed. In this course, we will explore, among other things, questions such as, how does China see its place in the world? How does China view Taiwan and why? What are the forces that work for and against conflict with China? What does China's influence mean for the world? And what are U.S. relations with China likely to be in the future? And at the end of the course, if you are able to answer each of those questions with confidence, there will be a place for you in the highest levels of the U.S. government and the United Nations because you will know more than all the brightest scholars and policymakers on the planet. So on Tuesday mornings at 10 o'clock, beginning September 13th, join the China in the 21st Century class to find out whether everything in Walmart will continue to be made in China, whether Hollywood's biggest market for movies will be China, or whether we all need to learn how to use chopsticks. See you then.